What's up, everybody? It's Jeffrey Lyles, welcoming you to another edition of Lyles Figure Files. Happy Friday. Hopefully, your bracket is not total chaos and just worthless. My buddy picked Kentucky to win. His bracket is no longer in existence. RIP PDC's bracket. Anyway, Mattel, at day two of its creation, Mattel's offerings, reveals of all brands. Today was Barbie, Mega, WWE, reason I tuned in, and Hot Wheels. One thing that really stood out to me was how great the presentation was. I felt like everybody on camera had great personalities, didn't feel like they were nervous or upset or like, oh gosh, what are they going to do to us? And they all seemed really excited talking about the brands. And the Barbie team really came off well. And I love the tour of showing everything that goes into making Barbie dolls. Crazy stuff. So much detail, so much that goes into it. Kind of, you know, like, oh, Barbies are pretty simple, easy. They do really nice, cool celebrity versions of dolls now. But, oh, wow. So cool. So much cool stuff. And I thought it was a really great presentation. I was a little bit irritated seeing so many people going, WWE, WWE. And like, listen, it's not WWE time. Patient. They even have a schedule you can follow. It's not WWE time. So that was cool seeing the Barbie ones. Also in the chat, eye-opening to see it reading almost exactly like a Marvel Legends, Star Wars, Transformers chat just through the lens of Barbie. That was wild to me. So really interesting to see that because all collectors are a little bit crazy, as Seal once said. But it was very nice. It was fun to watch that and see the mega team doing cool stuff, like putting together a construction set. That was fun. Anyway. Back to what I was talking about, my focus, the WWE reveals. And as usual, Steve Ozer, a.k.a. Action Figure Attack, Bill McKenna were on hand before they show the reveals. They took a tour of the WWE warehouse, so they got to see so much cool stuff. Eddie Guerrero's Impala, Ted DiBiase's Million Dollar Belt, so much cool stuff, including the cloak that King Harley Race wore. Steve mentioned, hey, we've got something in mind for Harley Race that's not related to his king phase. I was like, well, wait, he was only the king in WWE, WWF. So we're going to get an NWA Harley Race? We're going to get Vader's manager Harley Race? We actually get a payoff on that soon. So that was really exciting to see. But before we got to that, we got a set of reveals for one of my favorite lines, the Coliseum Collection set. And that was a new... Two pack, that's what we always get from that format. So we got two ones in. They are really essential ones. I think the pairings on these have been kind of weird, but I don't care because when we get the figures, I don't care the Roddy Piper got packaged with George Animal Steel. I gotta have him go against Ultimate Edition 80 style Hulk Hogan all day long. Anyway, the reveals today, very exciting. Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man. And after so many DiBiase figures, I think this is going to be the definitive version of him in this format here. And Ricky the Dragon Steve Martial Arts 1985 style, man. That is really cool. We got a Jake the Snake Roberts so we can pair him up with him perfectly. That was really cool. I was so excited. I think I did a video maybe even last year going. I want to see Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in this black, like he's, shoot, like he's the karate kid, swinging, doing chops, doing the whole deal. This one I want, this is Chase way back in the day, my first Ricky the Dragon Steamboat figure, smaller size LJ and not the big impale someone if I throw it hard enough at you version. Oh, this is so cool to see this figure. I was so excited about this. And DiBiase's outfit you can see here let me pull it up to a better window so you can see a little bit more uh it's got a ton of detail it's got a little shine to it which we haven't seen from these dibiase cloth attires before so that is really exciting i thought the work they did on the head sculpts are really good too uh you know because they, they basically go with the laughing head sculpt or a, or a sort of neutral one, but it doesn't really convey his personality, I think, with this format. We saw this Roddy Pipers. They were able to do three all-new head sculpts that really captured his personality, I thought, really well. Anyway, here's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. 
I'm very curious to see how he's going to scale. Looks like he's shorter than DiBiase, but I'm not sure about that torso. Maybe it's a little bit too too wide. I don't think it's a matter of it being too ripped. I'm just wondering if he's going to make him look like that Eddie Guerrero on that torso that was wrong and didn't really work for him. Hopefully that's not the case because the dragon deserves a great figure. I feel like he's had really good ones. But this one, oh, man, I'm so excited to see this look for him. We got the back of the cards. Let's see if I can read it. From the island of Hawaii comes Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Since joining WWE, this martial arts expert has dominated his opponents. In addition to his chiseled good looks and powerful physique, the Dragon is best known for flying from the top rope. Absolutely. Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. Everybody has a price. So says the Million Dollar Man. At arenas, he has offered large amounts of money to fans who would kiss his feet, wipe his sweat, and perform other humiliating stunts. DiBiase's love of money should not detract from his wealth of talent inside the ring. Dude, love the cars. I love the bio work from WWE. They're always so good. In the Masterverse, they're doing it really well with the Masters of the Universe line to it. Man, the, the WWE is undefeated in terms of write-ups for their bios for figures. So here we go. This is the Chase version of them. And we see, I don't know if I saw any photos with Dragon with his full-on gi. He's wearing it in the card art and on the package front. I assume it comes with it. Typically, they don't show anything that's not here. I mean, I don't see it in, in this photo here that, uh, you know, because in the rest of them, we see them wearing their gear. So I guess he doesn't come with it, which is a little odd choice. But DiBiase, I think, looks great. This suit may be a little bit bigger, but I think it works because he can take it off. There won't be a problem with, oh, no, it's too tight. This cloth, that's always my preference with DiBiase figures. See the set scope here. Let's get another look at that. I'm sorry. First, let's talk about this interior backdrop. This is amazing because... I don't know if you guys are like deep into it with Saturday Night's main event. They'd have that big generic backdrop and, you know, CGI or whatever, the CGI, the blue screen at that time period. And this is what we would have for these guys. The theme backdrops as their promo right before the music hits. Dun, 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 dun. This is going to work so well for Ted DiBiase. And I'm, I'm loving this. I wish they would do this with everyone, especially from this time frame of the mid 80s, because this right here, oh, it's so awesome. And I love to see this with all of them going forward. Such a cool inclusion, and it's really perfect. Now, let's take a look at these head skulls from DiBiase, as promised. So, here you go. You got this look here, and it's got the open mouth, and I think this is a really good one. We don't see this very often. It's like he's spouting off, getting a little upset, like maybe he's telling Virgil to sit in the corner or chewing off at Macho Man and Hulkster. That's cool. Curious about this one. This looks like the smug expression. I'm curious to see what this looks like in person, and that's going to work out as well as I hope. This one, of course, is the laughing skull, but you've got to have that with a Ted DiBiase figure. I mean... There's no way around it. You've got to have that. <laughs> money, 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 money. So got that. Got the wads of money. That's awesome. You'll just have to hand that off to your Virgil figure. Note the chest hair there. That's good. Butterfly shoulder joints for Ted DiBiase is going to be a game changer. In addition to those double jointed elbows, you know, now he can do a perfect million dollar dream so i'm loving the fact that he's finally going to get these butterfly shoulders that's going to be really awesome for him and we've also got with dibiase some extra hands we've got some chop hands we've got money holding hands we've got fists so you can do that million dollar fist drop that's awesome still got the old knee pads that look like they could restrict some of that articulation hopefully not too much and of course the million dollar belt that was awesome I did a really good job with him and really paying off exactly what I wanted to see. The Ultimate Edition Million Dollar Man. Next up, Ray the Dragon Steamboat. The most important thing on this figure. And I am so, 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 so excited about. Removable headband. I feel like every Ray the Dragon Steamboat figure has had that permanently affixed, attached headband. And with this one, I figured we might just be stuck with one default one. But here you go. We've got headbands, removable, 
in different expressions. We got the chopping one. We got the smiling one. We've got the serious one. Of course, chop hands, open hands, slaps, fists. And again, I just, I'm so excited we got this. I'm not quite sure if you can make this out well, but this has got that unique boot mold where it looks like uh, the ninja. I don't know the official term for it, but it's got like the ninja boot where you got two, or it looks like there's two toes. That sounded weird. Anyway, it's got the, the two indentions there. And I think that is really cool and really neat. And there's no laces on that. So that was important to see that as well. It looks ripped. Maybe I think this is like a slimmer mold than the one we actually see with the figure, but I'm very excited about this Ricky the Dragon steamboat figure. So let's see. Is this mold as big as I think it is? Maybe, but I think it'll still work. Anyway, just so excited to get these two in this two pack. Very exciting. Great reveals on that front. Then we got more retros, and this is another line that people have been clamoring for more additions. And Mattel comes through, they deliver new generations. So you've got a pretty soluble, soluble, sizable new generation setup. Now we got British Bulldog, and this is really cool. I guess this fits more with the 95 era, which makes sense because he's paired here in the set with Shawn Michaels from his world title run. We got Isaac Yankum, DDS, with removable, I would assume, lab coat and dental light. And then got a Lunger Blaze. So this really should cover a lot of those gaps people had in their new generation collection. So this is really good. Nice to see that. I love the four-pack presentation. That way you can get a bunch of figures for any era really quickly. So that's cool. Nice to see more additions on that. They're not quitting that line. And then, sorry, another close-up here. Get a little better glimpse of what Isaac Yankum's rocking the perfect head sculpt on a lunger blaze and then the bulldog i really like that head sculpt on him too so good work all around and he's got tassels and i feel like maybe he had some boots where he would rock all white but that should be a pretty easy repaint if you're so inclined but really nice work on this set so you've been able to build out a lot of new generation figures just from mattel getting back into this so that's awesome next up a four pack and I'm going to have to make sure I put a little caveat on this one. When it was revealed, I was so excited. So we got Live Pro Wrestling Legends, the Territory Era. Is this going to be a new line? Because if so, I want all the way in on this for as many as they can put out. It's not just a two-pack. It's a four-pack. So that's exciting. Superstars from the 70s. And I feel like this has been a time period that Mattel kind of did a little bit with. But now we're actually starting to get a whole lot more. That's exciting because we can get some more people to fight with Rocky Maivia, the high chief, uh, Peter Maivia, the high chief, Rocky Johnson. We've got now Gorilla Monsoon and Muhammad Ali from this big encounter back in the day. And you can see the card art. I think that looks awesome. Looks like an old school poster. So this from 1976. I, I was not remotely able to. To pay attention to what's going on in big time pro wrestling at this point. But here you go. Poster shot of these two. It's a little challenge. We don't actually get the match. But that's cool to see that in a two-pack or four-pack. And, yeah, that, that's just really cool. And a nice way to continue cranking out more Muhammad Ali figures for all of us who still want them. Uh, then another one, world title unification match. They did this occasionally during that time period. Champion versus champion. Superstar Billy Graham versus handsome Harley Race. January 25th, 1978. Maybe I'll start to pay attention to TV, but this is great to see this. Um, here you go. Here's a set of these figures. Muhammad Ali's in street clothes, so you can take that off. That's nice. And then you got Gorilla. He's rocking a different mold, a little bit thicker one. Kind of think this is more like the earthquake typhoon mold, so that's cool. Wrestling Gorilla with an outstanding head sculpt. And this is awesome to see him get this. This is really cool. And maybe there's a way to transplant the body with, excuse me, a George the Animal Steel, because he's a little bit bigger than the slighter ones that I think we have right now for him. Here it is. This, this, is, this is money right here. We've got Harley Race in his NWA attire. 
and he's rocking the NWA World Hi World Title World Heavyweight Championship Title. That's awesome. This is the first time we've seen this from Mattel. It's awesome to see first time in the line titles in addition to first appearances from guys. I can tell this this robe tie is gonna be a little bit hard to, to work into a double bow and all this stuff. It's gonna flare out the while pun intended with the flare out. The head sculpt of classic sideburns era Harley looks amazing. And we got superstar Billy Graham. And I think this is in blue tights. That's awesome because, and we got the purple tie dye shirt, his version of the WWF title, red boots. And if you've missed out, uh, this is what the original one. So this is great. I thought this head sculpt was really awesome on this guy. Oh, really did a great job capturing that like miss tie dye t shirt, purple tie dye pants, and lavender boots. So that superstar figure will stand out and will he'll be different. So if you happen to get this figure already, this will be a real upgrade and you know, a real upgrade and better figure because you see here he's got single jointed elbows. This new one has the double jointed elbows, which are so important, especially for a character whose finisher is a full Nelson. So that is very, very helpful and a really great pack. So for those of you who already have Muhammad Ali figures that, hey, why couldn't you put another 70s era wrestler in there? Eh, you know, that's a valid, fair point, but it ties into a big moment. So that's cool. You can also have Gorilla go against Bruno and superstar going as your bruno figure if you want bruno versus harley race in a real showdown of champions so that's fun we're getting all kinds of eras represented from mattel and that is really cool so we got those guys coming to the line and here's a close-up so you can get a better shot of that nwa belt that looks so awesome and just you know we've got we've got a few rick flair figures so being able to put this title on him Dusty Rhodes, if you want. That's great. We can have Dusty go against Harley, too. And I guess you could put him up against your Terry Funks. And we probably still need a clean shaven Terry Funk. But this is so exciting to get these guys in this line, especially with that double jointed elbows, because it helps so much for superstar Billy Graham to see that WWF title and his sideburns. I mean, this, this figure's likeness was awesome. So, you know, anybody who missed out, now you can get. The superstar. There you go. There you go. Think of this guy in full glory. I love the fact that they mixed up the look of the t-shirt. That's that's very helpful. So I won't feel like I'm getting the same figure all over again. Here's another look at that Gorilla and Muhammad Ali set. I think this likeness on Gorilla is very good. And you know, it doesn't look like just our normal gorilla figures this one looks like hey this is what the dude looked like when he was wrestling and see we got some other hands for him pointing finger from muhammad ali as well check out that watch and i like the fact that they did a soft good shirt and suit or jacket top that's really nice hopefully that rubber band doesn't mess anything up too much but this is a really cool real fun set this is and here you go Oops. I thought I had another picture, but anyway, yeah. Anyway, more WWE Elite reveals. We got the other two members of Imperium. That's great. Now we can match them up with Gunther, and we're all set. So, or Walter, if you prefer, like I do. So this is cool to finally get those guys in there. And I like that we actually have the distinct physique. So we got our muscular one, got a little skinnier one for Kaiser. So that's great. And I'll definitely be grabbing these guys for my next edition of March Bashness when I'm fully able to play out the tag team tournament based on everybody's poll results. So Steve also mentioned we might see some more tag teams, more two packs coming next weekend with WrestleMania weekend. I guess it's not next weekend. There's still it's still the yeah, we got two more weekends before that one, where it's WrestleMania weekend, and I can't wait to see what happens on that end. I guess maybe it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get the Rock and Roman Reigns versus Cody, Seth Rollins. 
guess maybe we'll wait to see what they're wearing so we can get their full looks for that big show. The greatest, biggest match of all time. And then there's another shot, the promo shot, if you will, of that four pack. And they look really good. And I'm really impressed with how everybody looks here. God, not King, handsome Harley Race. Love those button chops. Harley, Triple H, eat your heart out. You got the superstar being able to really hit his pose now thanks to those double jointed elbows. That's awesome. You got Gorilla, Muhammad Ali, the greatest. What was really great was during this, this presentation, they had like a giveaway and Lyle's figure files popped up on screen. I was like, whoa, what? Me? So apparently I'll be getting this four pack from Mattel. So that's really awesome. And wow, that'll be cool. I'll make, make sure to break it down on do a full unboxing so you all can check that out. But I was excited about it even when I had to pay for it. But yeah, it'll be really great to get that early. So hopefully I'll break it down for you guys really soon. Anyway, that was all the reveals from Mattel for Creations Mattel Showcase. Very excited to see 70s wrestlers coming back into the mix, getting that Ultimate Edition Karate Kid inspired Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Finally, Ted DiBiase in this line with the double jointed elbows, the butterfly shoulders. And the butterfly shoulders are going to be awesome for the dragon, too, because now we can get a better shot. We, we can actually have him do this on the top rope before he springs, does his karate chop, before he does his flying body press. He's so good on that end. And, yeah, I'm loving that line because it's, it's checking off so many boxes for me as an 80s wrestling fan. So that's really cool and exciting. Cannot wait to see what we get for more two packs. Maybe the Steiner brothers. Maybe that'd be really great to see them show up uh, in two more weeks at the WrestleMania buildup and reveals from Mattel. Anyway, that were my thoughts on this. What did you guys think? What figures really stood out to you? Let me know in the comments as always. And I'll be back real soon. For now, this episode of Louse Figure Files has been filed.